government offices, man. And I'm the particular person who is supposed to handle your particular cases. <laughs> Nobody knows where. So what do you do? Oh, God, am I talking to myself? I am asking, what do you do? Wait. Uh, see, you wait. Hi, my name is Lisa Homotepe. And I'm Shengiwe Mazala. And we are in And the, the Girls, girls in the Sunday, Sunday Dresses. dresses. It is my turn to sit on the table. How do you know that it is your table? <laughs> we have an agreement, Jimmy one. You eat half my food and you let me sit on the chair. Hanakala, you almost finished all of my chips in my money. Ah, oh, chips there. Let me sit. Okay, fine. Let me first put on my makeup and then I will let you sit. Oh. Oh, you got that makeup. The show ostensibly is about a union that happens between two people. Uh, who find themselves in, a, in an environment that forces them to communicate and to really get to iron out or um, is pertinent issues you know, about their past. I play the lady who is uh, supposed to be a former prostitute. She's very hyperactive. She could be representing a lot of women, a lot of women who, who, who've, who've embraced um, colonization, who've embraced uh, the, the Western way of living, but not actually discovering that it's not actually working for them. It's always a clash. So she's always clashing, always clashing with who she is. You don't live here though. Mm -mm. I live in Cape Town. I'm a flat cleaner. Oh, okay. Domestic help. <laughs> we play the woman um, who is a domestic worker, but um, she's been working underground tunnels. You know. So she's very, very political. When the revolution comes, I want to sit here. When the revolution comes, when the revolution comes, when the revolution you don't wait for a bloody revolution, Mosadi Kwena. You make it happen. The theatre is, is the same everywhere you go. Our stories are so similar. on a theatre platform, then we can escape into somebody else's world, yes. take a different form. And it's much more palatable for people to embrace that than if people were to listen to me and her saying, this is what's happening. Why didn't you bring your own food? Well, now why didn't you bring your own chair? I didn't know I'd be waiting there for days. Oh, well, sister woman, the wheels of government move very slowly. You should know this country. It's very important that uh, for South Africans to tell to tell our own story the way that we want to tell it and not that the way that we've been told to and how we are expected to tell it because I think South Africa is a country that's still going through some things and we're all just trying to figure out who we are and uh, the only way that we can do that is to tell us to tell it to tell it the way that we see it and the way that we experience it you know uh, so that it could make better sense for us as South Africans and we forget that it's a country in progress people are still going through things and people are still suffering some injustices that therefore we need to tell we need to tell the world that the struggle is not over you know we're still a long way it's, we all we're a few years you know we, we, we are teenagers how do you know things are about to get like god damn it man is it my fault that we have to wait here huh and i know what yeah you... don't stop bugging me okay Hello. we can all lose our temper if we want to obey it we have it in us somewhere we can lose it just like that. 